house too, but it was too dark. But as you can see, there's still some eggs that are on the bottom. Yeah. And so wow, put, their eggs are huge. They put mommy and daddy back, and I believe they put them back into this pond. Okay. But we're not gonna be. That, that's the only thing about ponds is it's just hard to see anything. That's in them. And then when you have a you pond, all the stuff hits the top, though. right? Well, that's a bunch of guppies. So, so we have gambusia and guppies. Uh, that's an accidental uh, guppy release. Really? It, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it's not intentional. They don't seem One to... One of our grad students uh, made a mistake. So that doesn't seem detrimental to the ecology from what I've seen where I've seen it? Yeah, well, we're on an agricultural facility anyway, yeah. so it's not yeah. a natural environment. Right. Um, but they're not going to last very long. Because right. There are alligator gar in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> And so how do you get the gar out, though? I, I don't we see net. nets. Oh, okay. So we would sain them around. So you uh, don't leave a bottom net and then no. pull that like farmers do sometimes. Right. Okay. Uh, we would sain them out. Okay. And I'm assuming they put mommy and daddy back in here. So there's so there sure. should be three or four in there. But as you could say, yeah. it's, it's, Good luck. it's hard to see anything in any of these ponds. Sure. So, uh, the guppies are a nice mosaic platinum snake skin or something like that. <laughs> And there's gambusia in there too, undoubtedly as well. So. Yeah, well, then you won't have mosquitoes. I mean, you can just see. Yeah. Like, it is... If you like live bears, guys, there are about half a million in here. No, I don't know how many. <laughs> there will be soon. Yeah. In 30 days, there will be half a million. But anyway, let's, let's yeah, yeah. The, so let's go into the salt water. So I uh, it, admittedly know very little about saltwater fish. Oh, something just jumped over in that little pond. Probably more gar. We're, we're just loaded with gar. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so this is all salt water. Okay. And really, our claim to fame. Oh was yeah. The Pacific Blue Tang. Dory. So when we first or. started this project, um, yeah, we were doing a bunch of different saltwater fish. Um, we had success with Dory, and now we primarily focus on Pacific Blue Tangs and Rasses, which would be those are beautiful. The Melanaris Ras and the Yellow Ras, and we have some Radiant as well. I don't, I don't know if there's anything. Yeah. Else. Everything that's covered with a small mesh. Is yeah. All okay. So these guys right here, and, and be careful going around these corners. Sure. Um, these guys right here are the first ever captive raised Pacific Blue Tangs. Wow. So this was three years ago now? They are and so vibrant. Thank you. Yeah, they are. Thank you. And um, now they're just starting to spawn. That's so incredible. We're actually doing, we're doing what's called completing the life cycle, which is basically we got them from a spawn from a wild population. Proofing it. And now these F1s, which is the first yeah. captive raised generation, are now spawning. Um, wow. That's fantastic. So, so do you have fry from them yet? We don't have it. We haven't raised any successfully from the F1s. Okay. Um, but that's coming, right? Sure, yeah. So, uh, but that's a huge accomplishment for us. Definitely. And um, we're, 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 of course, proud of ourselves. I, yeah, you should be. But it's Dory, right? Yeah. So that, was, that, 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 that was able to give us a lot of notoriety beyond the world of aquaculture. Sure. And uh, we had, like, news people coming and videoing us. And that's cool. Crazy stuff that we had no idea of what we were doing. What was, what was coming? <laughs> right, exactly. So we still have some... Oh, this is more rasses, so... Okay, probably hard to see then. They are very hard to see. That's okay. But there's some down in the vats. Okay. Which are easier. We can try to walk down through there. All right. But it's going to be difficult to look into the in, into the tanks before we can With the nets, shot. yeah. Because the rasses are like, you know, three inches. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, there's some yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see the yellow rasses. Those are good size rasses. Yeah. Yeah. Will they jump out? Is that why you have the net? Yeah, they're yeah. jumpers. Oh yeah, a lot of fish will do that. So, and then, are these a breeding stock right now? Like they are. Okay. We, this species, the yellow rats, we haven't had very much success with. Okay. Um, but the melanaris, which are. Yeah. They're they're almost impossible to see in these big tanks, but there are some down in the back, so why don't we go down into the back? Sure. And you can see those in any of those. But we did have a lot of success with them. Oh, okay. I was just peeking. I guess we gotta go down that way.
So there's the Melanaris route, which looks a lot like the six line. I'm actually yeah. walking away because I don't want them to uh, get scared. Of yeah, them. yeah. So that you can see them. Yeah. Um, but they're kind of. Oh, yeah, they're 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 yeah. Kind of, uh, kind of so they don't like to come to you for feeding, huh? Well, they will. <laughs> yeah, too. Um, they're smart then. But this is another fish that wasn't raised anywhere else in the world, like the Pacific Blue Tang. We were the first ones to do it successfully. Of course, we didn't get the notoriety that we got with Blue Tang. Because right. It's story. Right. Um, but this is <laughs> probably much more commercially friendly. Yeah, um, it's beautiful fish. We've done it a few times. Uh, we want to segue that information to the industry. Um, it's, re it's really cool, and it, and, it, and it translates to a lot of other species of wrasse. So now, the do radiant you? Radiant wrasse is in here. Um, they're very shy. Yeah. So, they're very I see you got the Never Clog Airstone. Yeah. Those are handy. Um, I always like to see what, you know, a big producer is using because it's probably going to work well in a home aquarium too if it's a little thing like oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Um, these are actually wild caught. So these are wild Pacific Wow. Fish They've got a little green to them almost on their bellies, little turquoise. Yeah, they're cool. We've had these guys for a while. They're, you know, blue things are really sensitive. Yeah, oh yeah. And you know they're they're a lot bigger, so they kind of that kind of limits the hobby to, right. you know. And so you see these guys. Uh, these are our second batch of Pacific blue tangs. Okay, so not, not F1 quite as part good. two. These are, these are yeah. yeah F1s as well. Um, Interesting. As you can see these are some of the issues that we run into. And yeah. We ran into these with yellow tangs as well, not us, but Oceanic Institute. Um, this head and lateral line erosion that's on the fish. Is that a stress response or an actual disease? Uh, it's typically either a lack of nutrition or something's wrong with the water quality. You really don't know okay. uh, the causative of, uh, of agent within head and lateral line erosion. Um, but there's also had some sort of nutritional deficiencies as well. You see that guy struggling, his air bladders aren't full. Yeah. Um, Interesting. So this is something that we're going to have to remedy because yeah. a high percentage did have this abnormality and we can't have that. Right. For all intents and purposes, they're healthy. They're not diseased yeah. or yeah. anything. Head and lateral line erosion is a disease, but it's non healthy Right. So, Non-communicable. Um, individuals, but they can't look like that if they're going to go into an aquarium. Right. right. So, now... We saw it with yellows, too. So this is a tang issue. It's a tang issue. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And something that needs to be remedied. Now, not all of them... Yeah, so there's something there's something in the genes maybe that when you spawn the next batch maybe it'll be better. I don't know. We're hoping. Um, but we did have some that you know looked just fine and went to certain the rising tide sent them out to different facilities. Some, oh yeah, yeah. Like a pet store has one. Some some aquariums have other ones and they look just fine. Some just fine. So. And so for the saltwater stuff that you're doing, are you guys sampling actual? Uh, conditions, you know, where these guys are at, kind of thing, and trying to replicate that, that or are you? Fantastic. Um, we tried to say, hey, send us to Indonesia, yeah, yeah. Uh, Australia, and, and we need to sample. Yeah. Um, well, I'm just, I was just curious because it can be problematic. We could, it, one of the things that we do is we reach out to those local researchers as yeah. well. So if someone's working in that region, has firsthand knowledge of. Really, it's diet. A lot of it is broodstock diet, diet and trying to get the right nutritional uh, composition. You of hear fish. that, people? Diet. What you feed your fish is important. <laughs> diet and water quality. Yeah, water quality. Moving water, aeration. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go back to greenhouse okay. one. Okay. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. You okay, honey? Up new every day. Bet you didn't think you'd be on a this adventure a month ago. No, I did not. So are you guys <laughs> just friends? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He married uh, the two of us, actually. So oh, you're a, you're an efficient. He's a lawyer. Hardcore game online. Hardcore game online. Yeah, I was wondering what the radar ball had. With the, uh, the fish, I've done it. We like to do track the storms coming in. Uh, <laughs> track the fish to the millimeter. My office is right under it. I'm always <laughs> like, is that thing going to be? Is, is it? Is I, for me? Um, I would. Far, no problem. I don't think that's how cancer works, really. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know, no, you're right. Oh, I forgot to show you the flame log. We are also, and I forgot about that, we are also working on playing long fish. Okay. But I think they're back in Greenhouse 5. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, 
I like showing folks uh, how how your water is being filtered and everything too, degassing and sump, and then the bio balls, which are just little pieces of PVP plastic or whatever, and bacteria grows on that, and you know, yeah. and then you got a UV and a, is that an algae skimmer type it's thing? A protein skimmer. Protein yeah. skimmer, yeah. Fluid ice sand bed. Which is okay. bacteria growing on the sand okay. that converts to, uh, the ammonia to nitrite, nitrite to nitrate. So, the moving bed reactor, which has bacteria on the beads, which does the same thing, also a biofilter, UV filter. Sorry, we had a we, we quiz high school kids. Oh, yeah. System components. Cool. Um, UV filter, UV sterilizer, which really is sure. a misnomer. Yeah. But it, it's really knocking back bacteria and then our protein skimmer and this just fluffs up the top of the water basically aerates it to the point of skimming it off yeah, yeah. Um, so I was just curious uh, what do you guys use just uh, do you use inoculated medium to inoculate new filter systems or do you guys have a, a, the bacteria in a bottle like everyone's trying to sell right now so, uh, there's well, a there's a lot of skepticism right. in the hobby about well, what you know is the mature tank the same thing as as that? I'm a, I'm a huge fan of letting your tank sit. Me like, too. I, yeah. I, I have friends that you know buy a fish tank and then they buy fish that day and I'm like, oh, no. Nope. Yeah. Go, and of course, sometimes they, they do some. Do die. Yeah. And uh, and then I'll say, well, let's wait four or five weeks and then we'll and then we'll put some fish in there. We'll start slowly. Yeah. And I think if you do that right, that's that's the right way to do it. Yeah. Um, there are. Uh, some bacteria that work, and I'm not going to go into them because I know, I know yeah. different people in different fields. Yes. Um, so we we have used that's fine. the bacteria before, and it has worked. And yeah. then we also, of course, that's really, we're farming that uh, sand, and we'll take some of that sand and put it into another. Which is what we would do with uh, acrylic batting or, right. you know, bio balls, whatever, yeah. It always encourages that process, but if, I'm, I'm always a big fan of letting your tank build slowly. Be, be patient. Yes. Right? Mother Nature will come into your house even and take care of your fish tank. Okay, and then these are really so we have some quarries in here. Love left over from Taylor's. Oh, uh, those are good sized quarries. They're emerald quarries. Wow. So this is, he was doing some digestive enzyme work on them. That digestive enzyme work really interests me, just because. Yeah, yeah you're not the only one. Okay. Yeah. yeah we we, uh, we definitely had a lot of requests for that, and when, and when it's vetted. And we're sure about what we're talking about. We're definitely gonna gonna put that out there. Some Thai glass catfish. We have to be careful with some of this stuff because we want to make sure what we're seeing in the experiments is valid. Right, right. and not just a fluke or. Right. So we have some more polypterus. And. Uh, so what's with the em em cats. what's with the emphasis on the polypterus? I was just curious. Is that it, the hobby it or? Happens to be. Yeah. I mean, we were just kind of working on them. Uh, we really don't really work on them too much anymore. They have really big eggs. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, they are a popular fish in the hobby, um, but they just don't produce many. There's some hoplo in there. It's brown yeah, hoplo the cats. Way. Here he comes. Oh, let's see if we can get the glare off it. He's a hungry, hungry hippo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Catfish seem to eat until they don't know what's good for them. So. Um, oh. Tiger barbs. That's cool. So you got tiger barbs. Tiger barbs. More, more quarries, it looks like. Those yeah. More em emerald quarries. Emerald quarries, yeah. Wow. Um, all right, now now we can go into the marine wall of the rearing room. So when but you unfortunately, yeah, um, can't let you. So, it. yeah, that's fine. No problem. Uh, and, I, and I was just sent a text about that. That's no problem whatsoever. Isn't that funny? Yeah. In, in, in this room, about, so the social media 